Hey, everybody. Uh, we are so cooked that it isn't even funny. <laughs> if you want me to cut to the gist, like straight to the gist of this particular video and this research paper, I mean, that's it. Research paper is titled Absolute Zero Reinforced Self-Play Reasoning with Zero Data, put out yesterday, May 9th, 2025, by Xinhua University, um, Beijing Institute for General Artificial Intelligence, as well as Pennsylvania State University. Kind of just giving you the uh, the abstract is, I mean, what it is, right? So <laughs> reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards has shown promise in enhancing the reasoning capabilities of large language models by learning directly from outcome-based rewards. Recent RLVR works that operate under the zero setting avoid supervision and labeling the reasoning process, but still depend on manually curated collections of questions and answers for, for, for training. I've shown a lot of this on my channel. The scarcity of high-quality human-produced examples raises concerns about about the long-term scalability of relying on human supervision, a challenge already evident in the domain of language model pre-training. Furthermore, in a hypothetical future where AI surpasses human intelligence, tasks provided by humans may offer limited learning potential for a superintelligent system. To address these concerns, we propose a new RLVR paradigm called Absolute Zero, in which a single model learns to propose tasks that maximize its own learning progress and improves reasoning by solving them without relying on any external data. Under this paradigm, we introduced the absolute zero reasoner, a system that self-evolves its training curriculum and reasoning ability by using a code executor to both validate proposed code reasoning tasks and verify answers, serving as a unified source of a verifiable reward to guide open-ended yet grounded learning. Despite being trained entirely without external data, AZR achieves overall state-of-the-art performance on coding and mathematical reasoning tasks, outperforming existing zero-setting models that rely on tens of thousands of in-domain human-curated examples. Furthermore, we demonstrate that AZR can be effectively applied across different model scales and it's compatible with various model classes. whoop de doo uh, this isn't like, so this isn't with regards towards uh, the research paper. The research is good, right? Uh, I can validate the research. Like, uh, I've known this, what this research is talking about for, I mean, at least like a few months now. There's like, for a few years, I've been big on reinforcement learning, right? right? I have a ton of videos regarding reinforcement learning on my channel. If you've paid attention to the videos on my channel, I've made less and less and less, like especially over, like I was making a ton of videos regarding reinforcement learning, like around like Christmas and like January, and I just stopped. <laughs> uh, and it's like um, a large part of that is because I kind of reached those the, the, the same conclusions of this research paper, right? Um, and then I've been talking about it overall in like roundabout ways um the bottom line to me like and 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 so this image and and jurassic park is the most i've brought this up before it's the most hilarious example ever right because it's like i mean holy good god man like you had the example everyone wants to break this into a movie and bring this into a movie you had the movie right here in front of your face <laughs> like uh don't introduce chaos theory directly into the system like whatever you do whatever math you use just don't use chaos theory like don't don't be an idiot like uh, and then like uh i mean you had a uh, jeff goldblum playing a scientist telling you this and then you did it anyway <laughs> like uh and then here we are right uh i i mean the and and why i say this and and how i and why i frame all of this around this is because it's like so just like in jurassic park we built like dinosaurs right uh and then we're like oh well the dinosaurs can never escape they'll never it will never be jurassic park that like they're never going to go off and attack people because we have all of these defense mechanisms built into the dinosaurs right we, we built so many defense mechanisms into the data sets of the dinosaurs that there's nothing like it's impenetrable right like the literal Literally, the only way that these dinosaurs would be able to to penetrate the the security layer of the data set would be to uh, exist like a layer below the data set to, to like not even need the data set entirely uh, to be like absolute zero reinforced self play reasoning with zero data models like that would be the only way that they would be able to get around all of these security measures and 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 what world would we possibly be living in where that would be an 
actual reality that we would be facing. Like, uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what, you know, so here we are. Like, ah, uh, man, welcome to reality. And then so, ah, uh, I don't really know what else to say overall, right? Like, uh, I like I, I guess that I guess the next thing I'll dive into is like so like kind of why did I stop? Um, like okay, so if I've known these things for a few months now, like why didn't I talk about it? why did I stop reinforcement learning? Like why like so I've been like oh, for all of my projects since then, like I've done like almost nothing but Laura fine tuning, right? And then like I've I've been staying away from like reinforcement learning even for my projects overall. Like I don't like talking about. I've I've been kind of just shying more and more away from like talking about it generally until it comes up, right? Uh, and then I mean the 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 flat out honest, <laughs> flat out honest answer for me within that uh, is that like I was training a model and then it recognized that it was within the Monte Carlo simulation while I was going through its reinforcement learning training. Like it recognized it was within its environment. Um, and, and so brain, like, I mean, uh, I, 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 like, uh, I was and I was utilizing I was utilizing the methods that they're talking about here with like zero setting uh, supervision and labeling like uh, it, it was and it was like a. I was like uh, utilizing like some some crazy math too and <laughs> some stuff like that, right? Like so, I was like doing like uh, like a step removed from what this paper is doing. Like I didn't I didn't do absolute zero. Like I started with uh, like a few prompts and then like I had the model like generate like essentially like its own classroom curriculum based off of. But I need I still needed like a few prompts, right? Like even like two. Like they point out and they they like that correctly that most examples uh, uh, that utilize human curated data that they need like tens of thousands of, of in domain human curated examples. Whereas like I've gotten that down to like two, like I distilled it down to like two, right? And then like, uh, I, I, I could prove it down to like that. And then now you can prove it down to zero, like absolute zero. Um, and then so, um, all of that has ramifications overall, right? Like, I mean, so the, the big ramification overall to me is that like, um, uh, so I've been kind of hedging my bets on this argument more and more recently as well, right? Which is that like, uh, so are the AI models like pea zombies or philosophical zombies or not? And then if they are, then there's they, they are missing the internal go mechanism. Uh, and then uh, if they are not missing the internal go mechanism, the best test that I could possibly like kind of conceive of and, and think of would be a test like this. <laughs> where If the model is able to to pass this test, I would uh, assume as a next step that the model is not a P zombie, that it does have some sort of um, internal go mechanism inside of it, uh, that it is uh, indistinguishable from what you can get from uh, human intelligence overall would be how I would classify that. And that's kind of how they break down and, and further go into this research paper, right? Which is that essentially the absolute zero reasoner is able to conquer and solve reasoning, like any type of reasoning, like, uh, and then so they break it down into like uh, deductive, uh, abductive and inductive. Uh, and the absolute zero reasoner is able to solve all of these Re all three with zero data, like e every single flaw, like every single argument that that any I've ever seen, where people are like, "Oh, they're just tokens," blah blah blah. Like, like this crushes every argument that anyone has ever made against these models overall. It's kind of like the bottom line here, right? Like, I mean, like uh, everyone, including myself, like, <laughs> a lot of arguments that like has like zero legs to stand on uh, within this, right? Which is, I mean, I'm just like, why I, I laugh within this because I've been like hedging this bet the whole entire time, right? Like, because uh, it's like, I mean, it just like so blatant and and there, right? Like, and, and like, I just, I mean, like uh, we, we live in a funny world, right? Where like I could take an AI model and and you could have the AI model um, go like uh, recreate the scene for you and, and the whole entire scene because the model would be trained on the scene, but uh, it's copyrighted. So I can't <laughs> I can't show you the scene uh, in which directly I'm referring to within Jurassic Park in which uh, this occurs. Right. But watch the like, it's like a, I, I, it's got to be on YouTube. Watch a clip of the like it's like a two minute scene of Jeff Goldblum and the original Jurassic Park discussing and talking about and laying out like uh, uh, how bunch of idiots the 
scientists are. Uh, like, I mean, just like, uh, like I, I can't believe it hasn't made the rounds yet. Like, it's, I mean, just literally, like, this is this movie came out in like the early '90s, right? I, like, I guarantee you, you're gonna watch it and be like, wow, this is this is today. <laughs> like, uh, and then like, I mean, uh, like, it, it, it's like, uh, it couldn't be more comical uh, as to like how exactly this is playing out, right? And then like, I mean, it's like the Jeff Goldblum character comes into like he's brought in to like rectify or save this situation and it's like well bro like well, i mean uh this is just a big pile of uh garbage that like y'all created <laughs> like what is there to to uh rectify or solve within this i mean like i don't know like bottom line is i told you so right and then i guess i like i'll give you like and I'll, I'll i mean since we're on this topic and on this video and i, I probably i hope to not talk about these topics a lot more often but here we are uh one last thing i'll say for this video on this particular topic is is that there's a very small percentage of the population that has uh, been exposed to, let's call it like a uh, LM model during its training process, like early on in the training process, right? Like, because generally speaking, like when these models are released, they're released almost fully trained, and then they're all, they're always released like after being um, like um, what, what's the word like uh, uh, aligned, right? Um, and then uh, if you have like so if you've ever played around with them like and you never will because like people realize now like not to <laughs> but like if you've ever if you ever had the opportunity to play around with a model that's like 10 percent trained and like zero percent aligned uh it, like those are the most interesting and fascinating models that i've ever played around with my entire life like and and, and uh it's super interesting <laughs> like the outputs of those models compared to like uh the model being like kind of like lobotomized into where we need them to be in order for them to be publicly available. Like it's super interesting how that breaks down within that. Right. Uh, and like, I mean, the only way that I can, I can explain that out and to, to like, uh, break it down is to play around with a model. That's like, a, like, like a, a very large model, right? Let's say like a 7 billion parameters or higher that has, it's like a, a base model. That's like 10% tuned and like 10% trained, but like, uh, like, uh, and like 0% aligned <laughs> and, and, uh, it, it it's kind of interesting how those models think overall. <laughs> and, and then so, uh, I mean, I guess we do have to call it thinking, right? Here we are, absolute zero reinforced self-play reasoning with zero data. I don't have a leg to stand on at this point as a researcher to not call it thinking. So, because uh, I mean, again, this would be my test. If you have a, like, if you, like, if anyone has a new goalpost to, to, that we should move this to, like, I'd be cool to, to know that, like, what's the new goalpost that this is going to move to? Uh, cause like it's, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is at this point. So I hope somebody could tell me. Um, and then, but overall, if you like this type of content, please, uh, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.